What's up, y'all? This is ZTV, back with another video. And I'm out here in beautiful Clinton, Mississippi. And I'm just down here visiting some family. Oh, my baby sister is having a baby. She's having her first child this week. Well, it might not be this week. I think this week's the baby shower. She might be due any day now. And then I'm visiting my mom. You know, she just turned 65 the other day. So, you know, I'm out here chilling, as you can see. You know, I got my shirt off. You know, it's hot. Like, down south heat is nothing like California heat. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is heat is on another level. It's only going to get hotter. That's why I'm getting my exercise now. Because when it gets around, I'm going to say 12, 1 o'clock, oh, that sun be burning. It's humid. It's nothing like California. Now, California gets hot, not like this. But anyways, let me just address the uh, fan base of uh, Kevin Davis's Carcinos for Life channel. For everybody that still supports Carcino, and for everybody that's a Patreon member, let me just address you really quick because... You know, I did the recent video on uh, Carcino, checking him for how he treated uh, LeBron. Because I think that man just goes way too far in his videos. Like, it's just not that serious. He takes this stuff, like, too far. And, uh, you know, LeBron, at the end of the day, these athletes are human beings. You know, like, they, they got feelings, too. You see? And for him to have the audacity, he did two videos on this. And then, and see, this is what I don't understand. You do that one video, then you do a second video trying to basically um, try to cover himself up, but he's making himself look more and more ignorant. Like, bro, you can't be saying, and this is, this is what I read online, y'all, and I'm just telling you, he has a sickness, because how are you going to pray to God right now? When you pray to God, you pray to the Heavenly Father. Now, me, I've been a Christian for years. And I've been born again. You know, I got rededicated myself to the Lord three years ago. You know, I'm in Bible school now, getting ready to graduate in October with my AA degree. So I could be a pastor, I could be a preacher, I could go out here and take care of God's flock and be a shepherd over his people. Anybody that need to get saved, you know, and get sanctified and then filled with anointing. But when you pray to the Heavenly Father, you pray to God, you're supposed to pray for everybody. You don't just single somebody out in your prayers. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Carcino, Kevin Davis is not real, it's not, that's not Christianity. Whatever you're doing, that's not how, what the God, what the Holy Father wants you to do. You don't pray for Bronny, right? You pray for his moms, pray for his brothers and sisters, his old family. But say you're not going to pray for LeBron, that's low down. That's what you don't do. And see, Carcino needs to be checked for that. Because now you're sending a wrong message. We understand he don't like this man, but again, y'all going to understand it, man. This man has a sickness. But it's one Carcino Kevin Davis is almost 50 years old. That man is in his mid for he's in between 45 to like 48, 49 years old. You're too old to be like talking like that. And on top of that, he don't, LeBron James is a parent. LeBron James had to raise that man, had to raise Bronny his entire life. All 18 of Bronny's years, he took care of him. You know, Carcino don't know what it's like to have kids. And I got like two myself. My oldest is finna be 16 years old in January. And then my, uh, my son and my godson is finna be uh, about to be five years old this month. It's the first. He's turning five. Got a birthday coming up. You know, happy early birthday to him. But no, Carcino don't know what it's like to have kids, to raise children. Carcino don't know what it's like to tuck these children in good night every, every day and night. Yeah, he don't know what it's like to tuck them in at night. He know what it's like to get them up in the morning, especially when it's time to go to school. It's time to get them up to go to school and take them up there. He don't know what it's like. He don't know what it's like when they get sick. You know, they get sick and need attention. And you got to go take them to the hospital to get a checkup and see what's wrong with them. He don't know what that's like. That man don't know what it's like to prepare for birthdays, to send invitations out, make sure their favorite cake is ready and prepared, getting a birthday gift on time. That man don't know what it's like. You know, Carcino don't know what it's like for Christmas and Thanksgiving with your children, right? Getting them the, the gifts under the tree. You know, he don't know what it's like to spend time with them. And in Bron's case, again, they, him and Bron, it's a sports family. Carcino for life don't know what it's like to take a child to their game, to their practice, and watch them play. 
watch them perform and compete amongst other kids. And when they feel bad, they lost or whatever, try to encourage them and inspire them. Carcino for Life doesn't understand that. He understand what Bronny had to go through with Bronny. Again, Bronny just had, I found out, it was told to my attention, he had two, this is his second heart attack. He went into cardiac, cardiac arrest twice, okay? And see, Carcino for Life is all the way out there in Chicago. He's not out there in California. So he don't know everything that's going on. That man has no sources. He's lying about most of the stuff he talks about. So to the people that support this man, again, man, when y'all gonna realize that what he's doing is wrong, y'all need to check this man. Y'all need to start speaking out against him. Stop supporting it. Because now this is just pure hate. This man don't does, do nothing but bash and talk down on black men. Successful black men. He talks about their personal lives, their families. Because again, him talking about Bronny, that's a, that's a personal issue. Bronny didn't want that at all. He don't need that from nobody as of now. Because I'm going to be honest, Bronny may have to be prepared, I have to be prepared to, for the doctor to say you can't play no more. Again, he's had two cardiac arrests. That's very, very serious. And me and my family, my Uncle Lee, my Valerie, you know, all my family came over on Sunday. We had a conversation about it. And we was, we was coming to the conclusion. My Uncle Lee even said it like, if I'm him, I'm not going to be thinking about sports anymore. I'm going to put that way on the back burner. You got to think about what you want to, uh, what you want to do with your life. Sports is not the, uh, man, I'll be the thing. You know, because Bronny could have died. Now, it's only for the grace of God he's still alive and breathing. We happy he's still here. And he's still alive to see another day. But that man could have been gone. That young man could have lost his life. Now, if Bronny would have lost his life, Carcino would have blamed it on LeBron. I mean, going way too damn far, man. The man has a sickness. I'm letting y'all know that's down. I figured it out. Now, before y'all start talking down on me, I know it's coming. I ain't getting hate on my last video. I had been a subscriber of Carcino for Life since 2016. With his truth behind videos. I know, they were very entertaining. Watching his truth behind videos. You know, it was entertaining. And he comes off as intelligent. He had a lot of videos that was informative. Right? The stuff about the Illuminati, information, all that other stuff. The man comes off to intelligent. But the problem with Carcino for Life is he goes way too far. And y'all gotta understand something too. This, he also has a gambling problem. See, the man gambles against LeBron James and he blames, he gets mad and blames him for it. Right? He gets angry. He has a gambling problem. He has issues. But y'all need to understand something, man. Carcino for Life goes too far in his videos. He's starting to go way too damn far, especially when he got into um, Kwame Brown. And the main reason why I don't support Kawhi Brown no more is because Kawhi Brown plays victim. All the time he plays a victim. Like Kawhi Brown is lashing out at people because his career didn't go the way it wanted to. Right? He didn't become the center we all thought he was supposed to be. Like what Dwight Howard became. And Dwight Howard's a champion. So people can talk about Dwight Howard all they want to. But Dwight Howard at the end of the day won an NBA championship with the Lakers. In 2020. Yeah, it was a pandemic, but he still got him a championship. He got him a tie. He's been to the finals twice already. So, you know, Dwight Howard's legacy is cemented in that regard. But yeah, what Dwight Howard became, Kwame was supposed to become. And, you know, Kwame don't have no accountability. He's not responsible for his actions. You know, he wants to get mad and blame Gilbert Arenas. It's not Gilbert Arenas' fault. He became a bust. And he just kept going at Gilbert. The same way he went at Tommy, went at Son Campbell, he going at people that weren't even bothering him. Why? Because he's doing it for views. So that, that myself right there, like, I can't support that. I can't get behind somebody that will talk down to you black people for entertainment. Because it's just the thing to do. So for the people that support Garcia Flight, I'm starting to question you. Because you're the ones who inspire him to keep going. You're the ones who keep giving that man views. Again, this man made three videos talking about LeBron James. Then had nerve to make a video about LeBron saying, oh, LeBron is up, pissed off at the sports media. Like, yeah, he should be. Because y'all don't do nothing but run your mouths and talk about the man negatively. And I'll admit that there's, there's things I don't like about LeBron James as far as like basketball wise. Like the stuff for him hopping from team to team and trading rate players and this and that and the other. I don't like that stuff neither. But I got to give LeBron his credit. The man earned all four of those MVPs. The man did win four championships. So I got to respect him in that regard. He's a legend. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, there's a lot of things I don't like about LeBron on the court. And me, I, I stay in L.A. You know, I live in L.A. Right? 
You know, I'm from California too. I'm from, you know, I'll I, I say I'm from Los Angeles. Lived up, grew up in Long Beach. And I'm a Clipper fan. But I got to give LeBron James his just respect. The man brought a championship to LA, not Kawhi. As far as the war between those two, LeBron is winning the war. You know, um, yeah, they, they beat each other for a championship. They played each other in the finals two years in a row. You know, uh, they both won a championship playing for different teams, but LeBron delivered a championship to the city of L.A., not Kawhi. Kawhi still to this day has yet to bring in one since he's been a Clipper. So I can't knock LeBron James for that. LeBron James is so far the better player than Kawhi. LeBron James plays most of the games, right? He doesn't like low management, apparently. And again, the man won a championship. Kawhi did not win a championship. But it's like Kawhi, it's like LeBron don't never praise LeBron for the good things that he does. Even outside the basketball court, all the philanthropy work, all the stuff he did for the community. Carcino for life never ever acknowledged any of that stuff. He just downs that man, just talks about this man dirty, man, like all the time. And I can't stand it. And LeBron is not the only one he does this to. The man has talked down on Matt Barnes, which again, that made no sense. Calling Matty Pack, like, come on now. That's a grown man. And he even got pictures of that man's children. Like, man, he does. Carcino for life goes way too far with this. Captain Jack, like Steven Jackson, you talked about him. And again, man, Steven Jackson don't even know who Carcino for life is. He minds his own business. Talking about that man. Mad because Steven Jackson was in a hood in Chicago where Steven Jackson could do what everyone wanted to do. He's hood too. Steven Jackson used to game bang. That ain't no, that's not no mystery. He said it multiple times. You could read that man's biography, his documentaries. Okay. But my thing is, I can't get down with Carcino. I'm not supporting him no more, and I'm not putting money into his Patreon for him to slander people. And the stuff is not, the stuff is false. Most of the stuff he said about these athletes are false. I'm gonna tell you that now. You y'all gotta go start doing your homework, people. But yeah, to all his subscribers, I want to know, man, what 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 do you hate about LeBron James? What do you hate about these black men so much that you continue to support that? And this goes to the people that be on his stream yard too. They are number ones. That's a problem. For example, Jose Rodriguez. Now, I ain't got nothing negative. Again, this is not this is not to talk down on Jose Rodriguez. I understand that that's a man in a wheelchair. He has a condition. But look, when Car well, Kawhi Brown was still beefing with Tommy Sonny Moore like last year or two years ago, in that drama, Jose Rodriguez had the nerve to put it upon himself to start including himself in the beef and go at Tommy. Now, Tommy wasn't bothering Jose at all. And I'm going to tell you, because this is how dirty Car Carcino is. Now, everybody knows Jose Rodriguez supports Carcino for Life's uh, channel. He's from Carcino's camp in StreamYard. But Jose Rodriguez had the nerve to make a StreamYard calling Tommy Sodom your crispy. Now, for one, especially out here in, out there in California and even out here in Mississippi, a man who looks like Jose Rodriguez calling a dark-skinned man like Tommy Crispy is considered racist. Not only is it racism, those are fighting words. Oh, that's that's a fight. That's you get into a fist fight real quick. Cause down here, black folks ain't playing it. No, oh, no, man. Uh, uh. Jose Rodriguez is out of line for doing that. And see, nobody called Jose Rodriguez out. The only one who um who, who said something about it was Mr. Skinny TV. And even Mr. Skinny said he don't understand how somebody like uh, in Jose Rodriguez's condition can talk about another individual who's like normal. No, the only reason why Jose Rodriguez did that because Carcino for like egged him on to do it. Man, with that type of condition in wheelchair, calling another black man crispy and had other people in the stream yard talking about Tommy. Tommy didn't do nothing wrong to Jose Rodriguez. But yet, when Jose, when Tommy responds to Jose, which he did, and Tommy had every right to respond to Jose because, again, they both grown men. At the end of the day, I understand Jose Rodriguez is handicapped and you in a chair, you got that condition, but you're still responsible for your own actions. You're a grown man like he is. They both adults, okay? That's not a child. That's not a little kid. I never known Carson Flock to be hanging out with kids like that outside of his godson, Gavin. And Jose Rodriguez is way older than Gavin. That was a grown man talking about Tommy Sonny Mario, who didn't, wasn't even bothering him at all. Now, Tommy's beef was with Kwame Brown. But again, that whole goal on Gilly ain't that gain up on Tommy. So then Carson Flock included Jose Rodriguez into that beef, which is again low down, man. Like it's like that's going low, far below the belt. And people have the nerve to get mad at Tommy for talking about Jose, but Jose brought upon himself, grown man. 
So when Carcino be doing that, that made me just not just made me dislike him more and more and not have any else more to do with him. Because for his and views, Carcino is going to go low, man. He's going to go way too far. Then that stuff he did about giving arenas in California, Bakersfield. And I told everybody, and I stand by this, I do work in Bakersfield. The company I work for delivers at Bakersfield all the time, almost like every week. Now, I ain't been in Bakersfield for a while because I've mostly been uh, delivering in the valley. You know, my, uh, my routes have been consistent with Calabasas and them places, but no, I work out there in Bakersfield. And I know, man, Bakersfield, there's nothing out there but like a, a, a farmland, nothing but farmers out there. It's predominantly Caucasian and uh, Mexican or Latino. Cowboys with the hats and boots, right, doing their farming. That's what's out there. Because if you play on the radio, you're not going to hear hardly no hip hop or nothing like that. You ain't hear, you, you, might hear, you might get a little bit of pop, but you're going to hear it mostly Southern music. Like what you would hear down here in Mississippi. Right? Depending on where you go. Yeah, out there, man, you're going to get a lot of, um, you're going to get a lot of form, man. So that's what's out there in Bakersfield. That's not a place of somebody uh, give Marines this uh, status to be going out there hanging out. Ain't nobody hanging out in no Bakersfield. I understand Carcino say he had business, but check this out. When Carcino did go out there, all he did was go at Gilbert Reeves, just picking at him. Just picking at that man, just picking at him. Oh, I'm out here, Gil, what you gonna do? Just taunting that man, right? But yet, you you, you all being mad, right? But yet, when Gil Marines wanna see what hotel you at, or I don't, I don't post where I lay at. That's some, you know what, that's a B-I-T-C-H. You know, I'm a man of God, I don't mean to get disrespectful, but this is what it is. Carcino for life made a bitch move. He's a bitch for that. And I said it. I said it to his face. That's a bitch move. Because you trying to make Gilman Reeves look weak. And me, I'm from California myself. I got a heart for Gilman Reeves because we both got accepted to U of A. Except he had an academic. He had, he had, he had an athletic scholarship. I had an academic. I accepted to go to U of A. Even though I wanted to go to Arizona State. I wanted to be a Sun Devil. Still, the Wildcats had accepted me. My senior year. So I understand what Gilman Reeves go through. But that right there was weak. Kevin Carcino fight don't realize he made all Chicago brothers out there look weak. You talking all this trash about LA cats, cats from California, he from the valley, but you want to fake this guy. No, Gilman Arenas didn't want to go to no movie theater. Gilman Arenas wanted to face Carcino for like head up one on one with no cameras around. See, Carcino did that because he knows there's protection, there's security around. And if Gilman Arenas lays a hand on him, he can go and sue him, right? He could press charges. So, I mean, I, me, I felt that that was a weak move. That was, that was a bitch move. Like, I'm, I'm going to say it. It's a, if you act like a bitch, I'm going to call you a bitch. Carcino for life is a bitch. I'm just letting your, your, you subscribers know that. Every last one of you. Everybody, y'all all on the stream, y'all, I'm addressing you too. Every last one of you, man, need to be called out for this. Because you support this drama. You can support this bullshit. Excuse my language. I'm going to get real. Y'all support the drama. The BS, man. Him going at these black people like this is, is bad. It's wrong. Something's wrong with Kevin Davis. I said it, man. He's a bitch. No, Gilman Arenas wanted to fight him head up in a room in private. Because Gilman Arenas is going to tell Carcino Fife, stop talking about my children. Stop talking about my baby moms. Keep that. Keep my name out your mouth. That's what he's going to tell him. What me and Kwame got going on ain't got nothing to do with you. And this is why we call him Pixino. Why Money Woodgrain. And I know it's Carcino Fife ain't, ain't confronting money. Oh, he's scared of money. Money Woodgrain from Philadelphia, get him. Oh, Money even said in his live stream, he wished Carcino would address him. I'm just keeping it real. Monty Woodgrain has made, has did many videos throwing shots at Carcino, and Carcino still won't respond. I noticed this. Carcino go at Mr. Skinny TV, and even then, Mr. Skinny TV also wanted to get down with him. He didn't respond to that, and Mr. Skinny TV is a real OG. That's a real gangster who did time, man, real time. But you'll go at Mr. Skinny Kong Gummy, right? You go at Tommy Sonnenberg, right? you go at a son Campbell. But when it comes to Monty Cocaine Woodgrain, you don't want that at all. Because, see, Carcino know he's going to get embarrassed. Monty Woodgrain going to tear into him, like, big time. It's like a no challenge. Carcino is scared of that. Because if he can start going at money, do a live stream of money, he gonna, he's going to lose. See, Car see Carcino knows who not to mess with. I, I, I noticed that too. Now, Cormier Brown has, went, has, uh, has confronted money and has, has talked to him, right? Everybody else, money, we're going to talk to him. But Carcino for life won't do this. And that's another thing I don't like about Carcino for life, people, is that he'll let Cormier Brown take the rap, take the heat. Carcino for life will do things, right? Hide his hand, act like he's innocent. And then he'll let Cormier Brown get the embarrassment. Oh, yeah, by the way, Kevin Davis has contacted me on, multiple, on my videos, too. Oh, yeah, and I got, I got the proof to show you that. 
He's contacting me on my video, acting like he did nothing wrong. But I know when I did that video on Baker Street, I told everybody, look, ain't nothing out here. And I told Carson, if you ain't gonna, if you're not gonna fight Gibbon Arena, stop talking about him. If you ain't gonna fight that man head up, then don't just stop mentioning that man's name. I told him this. I told him that leave that man alone, bro. You out of line, man. You're in the wrong for that. Leave that man alone. I told him this. If you're not going to fight that man, if you're not going to really confront him, stop talking about him. And this is Gilbert Arenas that even wanted to get down with Carcino in the ring. He offered to uh, fight him. No, the reason why Carcino's going to do that because he's out of shape. See, Carcino don't do nothing but in his house all day talking trash. He out of shape. He got rolls. He got no speed, no stamina. And this is Gilbert Arenas who's an athlete. He's training every day. And the best training in the world. So, no, uh, Carcino was going to get, uh, get his ass beat. He's scared of that, but he'll, he he could talk down on somebody behind that on his couch all damn day. You see, that's that's what I don't understand, right? You are 45, almost 50 something year old man, you can talk down on somebody's life, right? Post pictures of their children, their family. He'll tell you what you should do as a parent, yet you have no children. Talk all this trash, you talk all this this crap, right? Talk all this SHIT, but yet when the people are ready to call you out, oh son, you making excuses. No, so to his fan base. You, this is your problem. You're, you are the problem. I'm saying it right now. You are who you subscribe to. You are part of the problem. I'm pu putting half of this on you. Yeah, half of it goes to Carcel Fight, but the other half is to his fan base who keep putting Patreon. You keep putting money into it. You keep wanting him to go at these people. Like, why are you so used to drama, man? Like, you want to see somebody get hurt. You want to see somebody get killed. It's sad. Yet, yeah. We, we, you wonder why black people got issues. This is why we got problems in this country alone, man, because black folks are used to drama. They're used to that type of attention, that ignorance. Again, lately, man, Carcino Flag has been doing a lot of videos that are straight up ignorant. It's not intelligent at all. And I'm not going to be putting money into his Patreon for him to slander somebody like LeBron James, slandering Gil Marina, slandering Matt Barnes, who are not doing anything to him. And even then, this is facts. Gilbert even said it. The stuff between him and Matt Barnes was... Uh, him, the beef between him and Derek Fisher and Shaq was all fake. Kevin Davis made that up. Those two are not even related. Gil Marini's even said it. Me and Kevin Davis are not related. We're not blood related at all. See, Carcino Fly made that up so you don't have to um, fight him because he's scared of him. You see, man, it's weak. I don't like weak ass niggas. I don't. Niggas like that, I can't stand. I, I, I can't stand weak niggas. Back when I was in the world sinning, before I really, like, we really got deep in God. Weak, scary niggas didn't hang out with me and my crew. When I was out there game banging, doing my thing out in the streets of Long Beach, I don't like around scary niggas. Scary punk ass niggas, they had to get away from me. I wasn't gonna be dealing, doing that. If you're not no rider, man, get away from me. I don't like that, man. If you see us in a fight, you ain't gonna jump in, get away from me. I don't, I don't, I don't roll with it. People like Carson Flap, I didn't roll with. I personally didn't respect them. Because Carcino Flag ain't willing to back up what he says. No, Carcino no, Flag like, no, he ain't in no gym. So I don't know why he talking trash about Steven Jackson, Matt Barnes, Gilbert Arenas, and LeBron James when he don't, you're not athletic. You're not in shape like that. That man eats too much Burger King. Like LeBron just hit Carcino one time and chess, he's going to go down. LeBron a K that man's chest in. LeBron is 6'8", over 240 something pounds. In between two, 250, almost 260. Dude is built like a center now. You see what LeBron James was doing in the playoffs? That man was bullying these younger guys. Him and AD. So th that, that's my thing. So to his subscribers, again, y'all are halfway responsible. I'm holding y'all accountable too. Because you add this man on to keep doing this. You put money in his Patreon. He keeps slandering these, these people that he's not going to confront. And see, the only real reason why LeBron James ain't responding to him because one, LeBron is above him. LeBron not going to give him the time of day. Two, LeBron don't want to catch a case. Because look on LeBron, hey man, if I'm LeBron, I'm ready to get down. Like, you talk about my son, you talk about me, you ain't praying for me. You make a video about my son, and that's fighting words. Even Bronny, right? If I'm Bronny, if I catch Carcino for life, I'm telling him to my face. Shut the hell up. Shut the F up. I, if I'm Bronny, I'm telling Carcino for life. I'm making a video about that. Telling Kevin Davis to shut the F up. Shut the F-U-C-K up about my daddy. Delete every video of my day. Don't talk about me no more. Don't talk about my mom's. Shut the hell up, weirdo, because that's what he is. And see, this is nothing y'all got to stand too. The main reason why Carcino and Flap ain't in a relationship, and the reason why that man ain't got no wife, ain't got no woman, 
is because that man spent all day talking about other men that ain't bothering him. He starts drama for no reason. He gossips, he gossips all day, and that stuff is weird. Especially to a black woman, that's unattractive. That's extremely unattractive. Don't want a woman want to be with a man like that. That just don't do nothing but make videos all day to, about stuff that's not even true. At going hard at people he don't like but won't confront him face to face in real life. That's unattractive. Don't know a woman. I don't care. No, don't know a woman young or old or any ethnicity want to be dealing with a man like that. That's why he's single. Because Carcino probably, for life probably don't got no game like that. It's just two reasons why he's single. One, he can't get a woman because a woman ain't attracted to men like that. Right? Especially when they out of shape. You know what I'm saying? And I, it's done against big people because there are big people who got game who can get women. There are big people who ain't like Carcino for life. I'm just talking about him specifically. Yeah, he's just in the house all day doing videos. Right? He ain't doing nothing lucrative, nothing important going on. Right? Just we're talking about people, right? Making up lies. Talking about these celebrities like he know them. And most of that stuff is... And that's another thing. Carcino's been responding to multiple times. People have called that man out saying that what he's saying is false. He ain't giving the right information. So, yeah. Women see that, they find that weird. I mean, spend a whole hour talking about somebody that ain't is minding his own business. But two, the other reason why Carcino for life probably don't got no um, no women because he's gay. The man is a homosexual. And he just telling you about the strip club, it's just something for him to hide. Because for one dude, going to a strip club his age, that's nothing to be happy about. I'm going to be honest, man, it's weird. A 45, 46 something year old man going to a strip club, wasting money like, like, come on now. The strip club's for the younger folks. That's where the younger men is. Younger men and women. That's in their 20s, early 30s, right? They're still trying to party and have fun. That's not for somebody who got a family, right? An older person that's part, that probably got an established business, a career, that's trying to get things done in life. Dang, it's not for somebody that old, man. I'm sorry. If you 40, 50 something years old, still in the strip club, man, I look at you like something's wrong with you. You got no game. You got no cap. And you got you got no game. You can't you can't talk to no women. Cause I'm not finna be wasting. And I'm 40 something years old. I'm not finna be wasting my money like that. Uh uh, man. Life is too short, man. Time is valuable. Wasting money like that, like come on now. I'm not finna be doing it. It's pathetic. But Carcino talks about other men who got wives, who got hoes. Like Steven Jackson and Mike Barnes both got hoes. They got women. Okay. They got females. They get they get women. They get pussy. Okay. But yeah, no, no, you never see Carcino for life with a woman either. But you want to talk about a man that got men who got family, who got wives. See, Carcino for life ain't thinking about these, these celebrities who got wives, right? Who got girlfriends that they gotta come on to. He ain't thinking about that at all. He's just talking. Even he mentioned, even something about LeBron James possibly cheating on his wife Savannah. Like some some book. I mean, like, whoa, come on, man, just stop. But yeah, but to your fan, to his fan base, yeah, I'm dressing you. And I don't care what you got to say to me, I don't care if you like me, this is facts. Some of this is on you, because you keep this going. You keep the drama going. And this is why I can't subscribe to it no more. And this is, and I meant what I said. Kwame Brown needs to start saying something. You need to start checking Carcito because Kwame Brown shouts this man's out. And, Car and Kwame Brown is another one. I mean, telling Carcino for to go after other, um, go after Hassan, go after Tommy, go after Gilbert Arenas. He been doing that too. Because Kwame Brown can't handle people by himself. And this is why people have been calling them out. And you notice this is why Gravity, Mr. Skinny, Sister T, everybody start disassociating themselves with Columbia because of Carcino. Carcino is one of the main ones who's been doing that. Carcino will do something smart and say something in the wrong and then Corey Brown won't check him. And Corey Brown enables that. He keeps Carcino going. This is why a lot of people that were supporting Corey Brown ain't right now with him no more. So what Carcino Fly told you, no, listen, that's not true. Because a lot of these other YouTubers been had views. They been had a following. Like Gravity been had people been popular before he met Kwame. See, that's another thing, man. A lot of some of these, even Mr. Skin, they already had channels before Kwame Brown got hot. But it was with Kwame because they, they see Kwame's uh, viewpoints. And they want to get behind him. But they now they see how fake he is. Oh, man, I can't get behind that, that bull stuff. It's mostly black folks he going hard at. Arsenal Five don't talk about nobody. He don't talk. No, he don't go at Tom Brady like this. And this is Tom Brady that chose football over his wife. You wonder why he divorced. Tom Brady. Tom Brady's wife said, "Is he the football or me?" 
Tom Brady still wanted to play. Still trying to chase rings. And this man got seven of them. This is Tom Brady who basically surpassed Joe Montana, Terry Bradshaw, and even Troy Aikman and John Elway. Some of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game. Bart Starr, all of them, right? You got seven rings. As a New England Patriot, he won six Super Bowls for them, along with Bilicek. He's already the first ballot Hall of Famer without a shadow of a doubt, yet you're still going. You lost to the Rams in that NFC Championship game, still going. And what does Carcita for Love do? Cry. Oh, Carcita was real emotional when it came to Tom Brady, right? He act like when Tom Brady is going, it's the end of football. You see this, right? I want, I want everybody to see this. So you talk this way about Tom Brady, a, a white man, right? But when it comes to a black man, you quick to talk down. He's quick to bash. He's quick to lie on. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this is, they basically make their character look bad as, a, as an individual. You quick to talk down on their character, talk down on their integrity. I noticed this. Y'all yeah, need to pay attention. Carcino for life is a problem. That channel needs to be taken down. And this is the same Carcino for life. I don't want Kwame, right? And Queen Regina that was uh, that was taken down. Tommy Sutter Moore's channel. You took down a Science channel. You even tried to take down one of Gim Arenas' channels. They flag, they do this. They flag people's channels along with Damn DPOV. And Damn DPOV is the only one that's gay. He's, he's part of Rainbow. And I got nothing against, I got no hatred towards gay people, but Damn D makes it obvious, bro. That man acts like a jealous lover when it comes to Kwame. So Carcino, Kwame, Carcino and Damn D POV, they both in love with Kwame. I wouldn't be surprised if Kwame Brown was hitting it. Kwame Brown's probably having um, sex with the both of them. I mean, just be a, a flat honest. But no, like Carcino for life, like Kevin Davis, I just, I can't, I can't respect that. You know, I can't. This man, I praise Tom Brady. And, and I don't like how you did Patrick Mahomes either. How you talking about Patrick Mahomes' mama like that? Bro, it's like, like, come on now, that's that man's mom. Right, how you gonna, you, he, and he called his mama a B-word too. On camera, on the fly. I don't know y'all pay attention to that. When they lost to the, um, I think they had, yeah, they had lost to, um, this is when they lost to Tom Brady. Well, again, once again, he's had the Buccaneer stuff, right? He had the Patriots stuff, he had the Buccaneer stuff. Yeah, this man is supposed to be a Chicago Bear, right? You're supposed to be a Bears fan, but you wearing Buccaneer stuff. This man said, call um, Patrick Mahomes' mama, sit show B-I-T-C-H down. Sit down, call her B-word. Like, you talk about Patrick Mahomes' mama, then try to say that the Kansas City Chiefs are cheaters. Like, man, stop. I remember the Chiefs, for years, could not win a championship. Not only when they had Joe Montana, the last championship they won was way back in 78. But since after 1978, they went through years of disappointment. Years of failure. Failure. Failure seasons. Going under 500. I mean, one today, they was like 1 in 14, 1 in 16. I remember them games. They had Alex Smith. They still couldn't do nothing. Alex Smith, the Wayne Bowl, I remember years. Before Tyreek Hill, before Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey got there, and before um, Patrick Mahomes drafted, then yeah, they went through failures. They had Elvis Garback, Steve Bono. Right? I think it was uh, Randall Cunningham at one time. They had many quarterbacks. Well, it must, if it wasn't Randall coming, it was Warren Moon. But they had many other quarterbacks, veteran quarterbacks. Matt Cassell, right? Many veteran quarterbacks that came there and tried to win them a championship, and the Chiefs couldn't do it. They failed every time. And for Patrick Mahomes to come in there and finally get them two rings, that's a, that's a great accomplishment. But what does Carcino for Life do? Talk down on the black man. And Mahomes is half black, half white. But Mahomes still acknowledges who his daddy is. And when he won his last championship beating Philadelphia, what you see Mahomes do? Hug his daddy, who's dark skinned, black man, baseball player. His daddy plays for the major, major, for major League Baseball. He's a Ranger, Texas Ranger. But that's what I'm saying. For, so for Carcino for life, not to give Mahomes any credit at all. The fact that Mahomes was trained by Michael Vick. The fact that that's Andy Reid that coaches his supposed cousin, Donovan McNabb. But see... The reason why he don't like Patrick Mahomes before I continue is because Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback Andy Reid coached. Patrick Mahomes did what Dominic McNabb could not do. He hates that. Come on, now let's be honest. Garcia for life is way too biased. Like, people still support that. They don't call him out on me. I'm biased. This is why he don't like Mahomes because Mahomes did what McNabb couldn't do. I mean, that was in three NFC Championship games, which Patrick Mahomes stopped. This man don't want to give Mahomes no credit at all. When Mahomes' his rookie year came in, he was setting up records. Y'all saw that game. Look at the game he played against the Rams in his rookie year. The year he actually played. Because his rookie year, he was on the bench behind Alex Smith. But in 2018, when he became a starter, look at the game he played against um, when he played against Jared Goff. Yeah, go look at that game. 
That man, that man had the highest score. They, that, that game was like a college game. They scored the highest points. He scored damn near 50 points on the board. Because that's how great he is. That's how good of a quarterback he is. And Cameron Davis don't want to give Mahomes no credit at all. It's just, it's cold blood. It's sad. But yeah, man, he need to be checked for that. Marcino, you are in the wrong big time. This is why I can't get down with it. You'll praise Todd Brady, but talk down on Patrick Mahomes, who's still a brother. All right, that's, I, don't, I don't like that, man. That's why people will call him out. There's a lot of people that don't like Carcino for life. And I know this for a fact. In Chicago, Carcino for life is not welcome in the hood. There's people in the hood that want to fire on him if they see him. They see him, they, they, finish, they finish catch the fate. You better get the hands. There's, there's a reason why you won't see Carcino for life going towards the hood. Like the video you talked about Steven Jackson, he ain't going to go fight Steven Jackson because Steven Jackson have him stomped out. Okay? All the good things Steven Jackson is doing for the hood, and you talking about that man like that, uh? There's a reason why you won't see Carcio Flight going doing no, like he'll do hood stories, but you won't see him hanging doing videos in the hood like that. You won't see him hanging around some OGs that he knows because people don't like him because of this. So again, to the, to the people that subscribe to Carcio for Life, I question you as an individual. Do you hate your own people? Do you hate your own kind? That's what Carcio for Life channel is geared towards now. Having people like Kwame play victim, support them, right? And while you continue to find a reason to bash down black people. Successful black athletes. And here's, I know I already, I already figured this out. See, Lord already told me this. The main reason why Carson Flight don't like LeBron is for, if, for one, LeBron is not on the Detroit Pistons. If LeBron was James was on the Detroit Pistons trying to win him a championship, Carson Flight would delete every video he said negative about LeBron. He'll be praising LeBron. Like, if LeBron James is on the Detroit Pistons right now, trying to bring back the bad boys and him and Anthony Davis is trying to get them a championships and they got Austin Reeves over there and they doing what they doing he's doing with Detroit what he did with Miami and Cleveland oh LeBron Carcita will praise LeBron Carcita will kiss LeBron James ass I'm being honest Carcita will be calling LeBron the king again and he'll, he'll be praising him I think this is what it is Carcita was mad at the fact that LeBron James is not on his Detroit Pistons doing all of this that's why he's pissed off. He didn't get the Joy Pistons a championship. And the Pistons still stuck with their three titles. That's what this is really about. Or this is the fact that LeBron won't give Carcino for life an interview. He won't give him an autograph. So he's mad. He's angry. He makes a personal vendetta against LeBron. Come on now. Y'all got to start putting two and two together. Use y'all brains. Kevin Davis is mad at the fact LeBron James is not on his team. You know, he didn't go to the Chicago Bulls. Right? He ain't playing for the hometown team. If he was on the Chicago Bulls, again, Carcino Fly would not be going this hard at all. Let's just, just keep it real. Carcino Fly is mad at LeBron because LeBron won't join the teams he wants them to play for. He's not on the Pistons. He's not on the Chicago Bulls. So he's angry. And he lashes out. But again, it's a sickness because he's taking sports way too seriously. And he's gambling. He needs to stop. So yeah, so to his fan base, you are the reason, you are part of the, partly responsible. I'm giving you half of the responsibility. Yeah, most of it's on Carcino because it's his platform. It's his channels. But the man is on One Crack News doing this. He's on Carcino Flight. And there's another channel, Kevin Davis, going at and doing the same thing he's been doing. But the fan base, all of you subscribers, all over 200,000 of you, you are all partly responsible. And I'm not going to be a part of this no more. No, 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 man. Because we're living in a time now where black folks got to really, really, really stand together and stand for something. We got to stop coming against one another. We got to stop fighting one another. Because not going, getting us nowhere. In society. Yeah, people wonder why black folks aren't taken seriously. You wonder why we got the issues we got. Because we go on social media, we talk about nonsense, we fight amongst one another. Kevin Davis willing to talk down on a black man over a game, man. He went to go hard at LeBron. Again, Bronny that had a heart attack and he blamed that on LeBron. When the pressure's already on Bronny because Bronny is the son of LeBron James. Just like Michael Jordan's and Shaq's kids are. If you're the, the child of a of a superstar athlete, like Steph Curry, for example. Just like Tom Brady's son. His oldest son. You don't think that man under a lot of pressure? I told you, look at Shador Sanders. Right? Those type of kids. The second gens. Dwayne Johnson. When you don't think Dwayne Johnson was under a lot of pressure coming up? And Dwayne Johnson said he had to work hard. Dwayne Johnson said nothing was given to him. That man was homeless living in his car at one time. Right? But a lot of these second generation kids that's coming up in this world. Who are the sons and daughters of Hall of Fame athletes. They got multiple championships. The pressure's on, on you automatically. All eyes are on you. The camera's automatically on you. 
But no, but Bronny chose this lifestyle. He chose to be athlete. He chose to father his father. Chose to play behind LeBron James. So what's happening? Le the Bronny ain't got nothing to do with LeBron. And like I said in my other video, those two don't even live together. I can guarantee you, LeBron has moved out of his parents' house. He either stays in a dorm at USC or he's at a he's in a condominium near the campus. But right now, LeBron is at Keck USC, still getting tests ran up on him. They're not ready to send him back yet. So to the coaching staff, the head coach of the USC Trojans basketball organization, that program, I, I feel sorry for them. Because that's a major loss. We're running out again, man. It's going to be hard for them to make money. It's hard for him. Bronny to make money because Bronny's on the contract. He, he's getting paid by USC to play for him. Every athlete is paid money. But they already under pressure as is trying to start. See, Bronny's trying to start on a national program. This ain't Sierra Canyon no more. You playing in a, in a D1. And see, Carcino for life ain't never played college basketball before. He's never been a coach. So he don't understand the type of pressure it is. NCAA pressure is not like NBA pressure at all. It's two completely different things. But yeah, to blame Bron for that, man, it's just that's going way too far. You keep kicking that man when you're down. You keep making videos about it. So to his fan base, y'all need to stop it. I suggest stop uns like unsubscribe to this man. Y'all do what y'all want to do. That's just my suggestion. If the Carcino ain't going to stop, y'all need to unsubscribe to him. Let Carcino start losing viewership, he'll change. Y'all need to start calling that man out, including the, all the people who's being on the stream arm, from Jose Rodriguez, all of them, right? Y'all need to start calling this man out. Wrong is wrong, period. I don't care who you are. Because all Carcino's doing is spreading rumors, spreading lies, doing tabloid stuff to get paid. The man ain't got nothing else better to do with his life. He ain't trying to have no kids, ain't married. He ain't on no honeymoon, no vacation. I'm gonna work it for saying, Carcino for life, me to take at least 30 days, at least two or three months off from YouTube. You don't need to be doing YouTube. Let's see, could he go a week without doing videos? Because Carcino for life, me to think about what he's been doing, man. This is it's wrong, man. Using your platform to spread hate like that and tear down black men's character like that? No, I can't get down with that. Yet you praise the white man, right? You praise the Caucasian man. You act like Tom Brady is a is a is a god compared to everybody else. You know, again, that man when Tom Brady was announced retirement, which he did, Tom Brady ain't coming back. Tom Brady said, "I'm done." Because again, Garcia Fly don't have them type of problems. See, Tom Brady is a man with three kids and divorced. That means he has to has to have equal. If he has to fight for visitation rights, the man got a son in high school, a child in middle school, and his youngest daughter is at elementary school. Tom Brady can't play football no more. He's done. And Carcillo act, was acting real, real worried, real crying on camera. Grown man crying over another man. Like, come on now. Like, it, it's, it's sad, man. Ain't nobody, no, uh, man, no. But you'll talk down on LeBron, on LeBron like that? Uh, I can't get down with that. Man, it's all, that's the video, man. Just all I'm saying, man, we got to stand for something. Have some integrity. Do the right thing when it comes to that man there. And I'm done. I'm not addressing Carcillo for life no more. I'm done with him. I'm washing my hands of him completely. Right, I, I made my point. That's it, y'all. Take care, man. God bless.